Good Friday morning, Ellis County. This is Kevin Crouch, Ellis County weather. And uh, it is windy, it is cool, but the sun is out. As you can see here, uh, the sun has come out, but if you see behind me, there are more clouds slowly kind of rolling in from the south. You know, I usually try not to uh, film in the wind because it may be hard to hear me, but I wanted you to kind of see everything that's happening all at once, right? You can, you may be able to see behind me in some of the grass that there's still a little bit of ice kind of covering the, uh, the grass here as that has yet to really fully uh, melt away. And then behind me, there's this deck of clouds that is slowly but surely invading from the south. That's going to bring more moisture into our area. Really quickly, I want to talk about Midlow Pressure Pros, and I want to talk just real quick about how they take care of your family, your home. Uh, you know, when they came out to uh, my house to demonstrate their services for me, excuse me, they uh, they went so far as to clean my son's playhouse that he has out in the back. Wow, this just comes right off. So they care about your family. They also make sure that your pets are not going to be harmed by anything they're doing. And they even cover your plants and wash your plants, make sure that your plants are not uh, not harmed by anything as well. So they, they care. You know, they go beyond just the cleaning experience. They take care that you're, uh, that you, not only are you a satisfied customer, but that your, your property and uh, the, the things and the people you care about are uh, taken care of as well. So if you want to get in on their services, which I highly recommend, you can give them a call at 469-830-1630 and mention Ellis County Weather, or just go to Ellis County Weather, uh, excuse me, elliscountyclean.com, put in your email, they're not going to spam you, they're just going to send you a coupon for $50 off your next exterior, exterior service. Any of those exterior services, $50 off, that's a nice little discount to have from them. So definitely go check them out. So we're going to have increasing clouds today. As I talked about, we had this cloud deck back behind me. That's going to move northward as the moisture moves in. And uh, we get a, a nice day today. I say a nice day. It's still going to be pretty chilly, but we'll finally get a, a nicer day uh, than we have had recently. Uh, highs are going to be in the low 40s. Right now, we're right around the low 30s. We have about another 10 degrees or so to go before we're completely done warming up today. But it will be warmer than it has been uh, thus far. Friday night, tonight, we have about a 20% chance of showers as the moisture starts to move in. Now, it's possible we could see a little bit of a wintery mix. Not anything like what we saw the last couple of days. Definitely not like anything we saw the last couple of weeks. Uh, but, uh, you know, we could see a little bit of, of mix mixed in with all of that. Not expecting any accumulations or anything of that sort. Lows are going to be in the mid, the low to mid 30s. Okay, so we should most, at least mostly, uh, be above freezing for that period of time. Saturday, tomorrow, 70% chance of rain. It's kind of an all day event. I don't have a start or end time for you on this. Uh, it's just going to kind of be increasing rain throughout the day. Doesn't look like we're expecting any storms. Uh, we could see in the morning at, when the day is at its coolest, again, some kind of wintery mix mixed in, not expecting any kind of uh, travel impacts or anything of that sort. Highs will be right around 40 degrees, so a little bit cooler than today, but we will be above freezing. Saturday night, a 40% chance of showers. They should taper off through the evening, so by midnight or so, we will probably be dry. Lows will be in the low 30s, so uh, not enough, again, to cause travel impacts, but we could see some of those, again, those sensitive plants, sensitive pets, you want to take care of those uh, overnight tonight. Sunday, sunny with highs in the mid-50s. This is probably going to be the nicest day we've had uh, for a while with those uh, those mid-50 highs and the sunny skies, severe clear returning to North Texas. And then Sunday night, mostly clear with lows right around 30 degrees. So again, uh, another light freeze, but not enough to, to cause serious damage. Uh, just bring those pets in and uh, protect those sensitive plants. And then we're warming up next week. How does 70 degrees sound? How does inching towards 75 degrees sound? That sounds a whole lot better than the cold that we've had for the last few weeks. March starts on Tuesday, and it looks like we're going to level out to some nice spring weather. Now, remember, March is the beginning of meteorological spring, okay? Meteorological spring. So for me, spring starts. But 
the actual spring on the calendar starts, what, sometime late March, something like that. But as far as I'm concerned, as far as the meteorological community is concerned, spring starts on, on Tuesday. And that begins severe weather season, right? We've already had a couple of brushes with severe weather, a couple of, uh, of uh, opportunities for it. We've been lucky so far. But uh, that's why I want to make sure that I'm bringing you the Tuesday tip. You know, we didn't have that uh, the, uh, the last Tuesday. There was just too much going on. I didn't have a chance to get that filmed and uploaded for you. But we'll have that again uh, this next week. I think you're going to enjoy that. I think we'll have a guest this time as well uh, to talk about some more information on um, some things going on. That may, that may be next week or the week after. We just kind of have to wait and see. But... Going into spring, I want to make sure that you're prepared for severe weather, so that's going to be our focus. And then Wild Weather Wednesdays, I think you're going to enjoy the one I have coming up next as well. So stay tuned for those. You can always go to elliscountyweather.com for the latest information on the forecast, those, excuse me, those latest uh, segments that are coming out and all of, of the latest things. Make sure you're following on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as well.